I'm going to show you how I make my YouTube thumbnails, and it's actually a lot more simple than you might think. So, what do these all have in common? We can see there's a subject, usually me, and then a background. So let's start with how to get the subject, which is typically going to be you. We have Minecraft, and I'm just going to go on my server with Replay Mod, the mod. Hopefully you know what Replay Mod is. Alright, so here we have actually what I did for my last thumbnail. Something I use a lot is uh, the Citizens Mod. You can just MPC create like, boom, like that. You can have them equip arm or whatever. That's pretty useful for thumbnails. But if you don't want to get this plugin for a server, what you can do is go make a green screen box. This is my, my green screen box I have here. I use this thing a lot. So basically all you do is for your thumbnail, however you want to be looking, turn your replay mod on and then just look a certain direction, standing against the wall so you can green screen it later. And I don't know, say we'll want to look like this. Boom. We got that. Let's disconnect. Go into the replay mod file. And then as we can see here, what I usually do is switch my FOV to 30. It makes you fill up more of the screen. And then we'll just take a screenshot. So I don't know, something like this. This looks not bad, right? I can see this in the thumbnail. So boom, F2 to screenshot. And also make sure you probably don't want to have render name tags on if it's a thumbnail. So turn that off. So boom, there's my subject done. Now I don't have a particular thumbnail I'm making right now, but let's just do a random example, right? I'm looking at something, so let's just uh, get a background. And a tip actually that not everybody uses is this, the set biome command. You can make the grass a lot greener if you make it a mushroom fields or a jungle biome. So what I'm just going to do here is set block, glass, take the two corners, go down here, and then do the command slash slash set biome mushroom fields, relog, and then Boom, grass is greener. Ta da. Alright, so now, simple background. We're just gonna, what I do is just get a replay mod shot, so I'll just stand back and then, boom, log out. Go to the replay mod file once again. And literally, you're just gonna do the same process. Just take a screenshot, lower your FOV if you want to. Usually looks better. And then, let's just get a screenshot like, I don't know, something like this. Okay, so there. We have the background screenshot and the subject. Next, what I'm going to do is go into photop.com. I mean, you can use Photoshop or whatever, but for my tutorial, I'm just going to use Photop because it's pretty simple. Um, you can either new project or open. I'm open from computer. And basically, go into your screenshots. Just take everything you just took, plop it in. All right, so here we go. This is where it gets cool. See this tool right here. It's called Magic Wand. Click that, click the green, and then press the delete key on your keyboard, and boom, takes out the green screen. So just get rid of all the green, just click press delete till you have this, just your subject. Next file, export as PNG, and boom, your subject is done. Close that one out, and now we can just do file, open in place, go to my downloads, and put me there. So now we have a thumbnail, you know? I don't know what the video is about, but we have a thumbnail so far. What I'll do uh, next is usually put something on screen. It really depends on what the video is about, but let's just put like, uh, I don't know, if you want text, this is the website I use for text, right? It's called myfonts.com. Let's just say thumbnail. Right click this, save image as. Now I'm gonna open and import that. Then I'm gonna use the magic wand tool again and take out the black like this. And then I'm just gonna export that. Pretty simple, I'd say. If you need to rewatch, just rewatch and see how I did it. Now we're gonna go back to this one, open and place the thing I just downloaded, and boom, we have the text. So uh, let's just move this around. If you wanna resize it, you can do edit and then free transform. And yeah, boom, next. You want things to pop out more because this looks pretty stale. What you can do is layer, layer style, and then stroke. It'll make it look like this. So I'll usually use stroke, drop shot a little bit, sometimes outer glow. That one could look cool like that. But it's all customizable, whatever you want to do. But the real kicker is right here. If you click on these other layers, what you can do is go to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast, and change the brightness and contrast like that. You don't want to overdo it, but you might want to do it more than you think it's good. It'll make it really pop out. And then next, adjustments, vibrance. I use this one a lot. Ta-da! Look at that. Looks a lot better, right? And then we'll just do the same thing for this layer, the background. Same exact process. Make it brighter, more contrast, and then just up the saturation a little bit. And what you might want to do is also go to filter, blur. I'll use Gaussian blur on like a few pixels, like, like that. And boom, that's the whole thumbnail. <laughs> Let's just get a YouTube logo png why not because that's what this video i'm making is about how to make a youtube thumbnail let's get this one save that image okay open if it's not already green screen you might just have to do the same process to take out the background but you already know how to do that because i just showed you <laughs> so it looks like i'm doing it really fast but that's because i've done this so many times for every thumbnail so just it's just practice but as we see we have the youtube logo now and i'm just gonna do the layer again layer style stroke uh you know 
<laughs> doesn't look the best, but it's just an example. We can add a few effects, but really that's kind of the whole process I use for every thumbnail. Literally everything I just showed you is all I think about. So yeah, looks good. File, export as PNG, and you should be good to go if that's the right dimensions. All right, that's, that's it. If you have questions, please comment. I'll try to respond to them, but yeah, thanks for watching.